success in the Confederation Cup. And please, and please do not change the winning team. Congratulations and good night. The executive uh, vice president of the Gamtel, Gamsel FC, Mr. Keba Ture, has a message from the football team for all of us. Let's share Keba's message. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, it is with a great sense of joy and pride that I stand before you to deliver this short message on behalf of the football team executive. The beautiful game of football ranks top amongst the most entertaining and successful sports in the world, but you will all agree that it's also an expensive one to run. We therefore owe a debt of gratitude to our main sponsors, Gamtel and Gamsel, for their untiring support over the years. From the time the decision was made to register the team in Banjul in 1997, to go through a zonal qualification in the second division of the GFA National League to date, Gamtel and now with its subsidiary, Gamtel, have been the exclusive sponsor of the football team. We therefore wish you, we therefore wish to use this occasion to thank profoundly the present as well as all previous management for standing by the team at all times. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, we are humbled by the enormous congratulatory messages we have received since our return from Togo. But the, the team has made history and deserves all the recognition it gets. And this gala, once again, hosted by our profound, our uh, proud sponsors, in, is historic. And we sincerely hope it will be the beginning of more success, not just to the Gamtel and Gamtel football team, but to Gambian football in general. Please allow me to discuss this to you here, ladies and gentlemen. In Togo, we promised ourselves to win the trophy and gold medals as victory to His Excellency the President of the Republic, Sir Professor Al Haji Dr. A.J. Jame. That did not materialize, but we have got the silver medal for him, as he is the chief patron of Gambia Football Association. On behalf of the executive of the football team, we wish to recognize the support from all stakeholders in the sporting fraternity in this country. We may not be able to name all, but we wish to thank the Ministry of Youth and Sports, our line ministry, Ministry of Information, Communication, Infrastructure, the GFA, GRTS, the media, all clubs in the National League, and the Gambian public for their support and prayers. Please allow me to also thank Zal Graphic and the GFA for the donation of football jerseys and boots, respectively, prior to the team's departure to Togo. We wish to also recognize past executive members of the team in the presence of Aliuba, <laughs> Mamadou Drame, who both served as president of the team, and Suleiman Suzo as former team manager. <laughs> Honorable Alaji Silla and Suleiman Kohl, previously served as head coaches and we recognize their contribution in developing the team we have today. As we wine and dine tonight, we also implore all businesses, parastatals and organizations to emulate Gamtel and Gamsel by taking up the social responsibility of sponsoring sports in this country as we owe it to our com communities to give back to them for the long-term sustainability of our various operations. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, 
as we congratulate the team for, this, for its success, we must remind ourselves that we have, in the process, set ourselves bigger challenges of not only repeating the current successes, but to build on from here. On that note, we are gently reminding the managing director, Mr. Babu Karsanya, and his management team that we need them now than ever before. And we are confident that they will be there for us despite the difficult times. I can assure you that the team is hungrier than ever before for more successes. We are preparing for CAF Confederation Cup starting in February 2012. And we once again solicit everyone's support and prayers. We shall not carry our away and become complacent as we fully realize that calf club competition is bigger and involves a lot of more matches. Notwithstanding, we have every confidence in this team to make more historic achievements. Kudos to gallant players led by the heroic captain Mr. Matab Nyang, and to the technical team led by the manager, Abdullah Jalo. Of course, I cannot end this speech without mentioning the gentleman whose record recorded the highest club coaching achievements within the shortest possible time in this person of Tafa Mane.